Professionals spend a huge amount of time getting the shot right in camera, but sometimes you may want to break free from the chains of your normal image making and produce a frame that's more abstract. What's more, you may be able to create this fantasy picture using files you've already captured that are just sitting there gathering digital dust on an old hard drive. The key to this technique is using your creative eye to match two photos that could work well together. But the secret to unlocking their potential is Affinity Photo and the masking features found in the program's photo persona. By enabling pros to overlay pixels from a donor image and then offer a high degree of control when using a mask layer, photographers have all the precision they need to create realistic effects and capture impressive results. So let's see how this technique comes together. And with both your eye image and your donor image open in Affinity Photo's photo persona, select your donor image first. We're going to copy the pixels onto our other image. So the first thing we need to do is press Control and A, or Apple and A if you're using a Mac, and then press Control and C, or simply head up to the Edit option and select Copy. You can now close down this image as we don't need it any longer. Back at our eye image, we're going to paste the pixels. So you can either press Control and V, or head up to Edit, and scroll down to Paste. The placement of your new layer is critical, so we need a way to be precise on how you line up the layer over your eye. The trick here is to head to the Layers panel and lower the opacity of the donor image layer. As we drag the slider down, you can see the eye layer below become more visible. Head over to the toolbar and select the Move tool, and the keyboard shortcut for this is V, and you can then reposition and start shrinking or increasing the donor image to get it to fit nicely over the eye on your background layer. What I might do if this one is actually spin it round so you have the little walkway over to the left of the eye. Now make sure that the whole eye is covered so you can drag this out and play about with the perspective a little bit. Once you're happy with the placement, just remember to increase that opacity back up to 100%. Now, of course, at the moment, with the opacity up to 100%, this image does look a bit strange, but that's okay, because we're going to select the layer and change the blending mode from normal to either lighten or screen, whichever works best for your image. And I think for my image, it's lighten. And you can see now how the pixels of the eye are becoming more visible and merging with our donor image layer. The challenge that we have is that the donor image layer will cover more area than just the eye, so we need to remove some pixels. Head to the Layers panel and select the Mask option, which is identified by a circle within a square. Make sure it's selected and then head back to the toolbar and select the Paintbrush tool. And the keyboard shortcut for this is B. Make sure the brush is set to black Make sure the hardness is at 0% and you can increase the size of the brush using the square bracket keys. What we're going to do now is paint out some of these pixels around the eye. And you'll see on this hard edge here all we need to do is go back to the move tool and let's just drag this out a little bit more and go back to the mask and we can get rid of that hard edge. Take as long as you need with this step, as adding that precision really does pay off in the end. So with the last few pixels removed, you can see how we fine-tuned the mask to make sure that our donor image sits directly over the eye rather than in the whites of the eye or over any skin or eyelashes. Let's unclick the layer and you can see there's just some tiny bits down here that I've missed so let's just pick these up check it again absolutely fine. Now if you think the effect is too strong you might want to lower the opacity again just a tiny bit to let some of the pixels from the bottom layer seep through without losing the effect of your donor image. 
So that's down to 75% and I think that looks a lot better. With that job complete, you can now add any other adjustments you want to. So head back to the layers panel and click on the half black, half white circle icon. And you can scroll up and pick from the options. So I'm going to select brightness and contrast. And when the dialog box appears, it's going to ramp up the contrast a little bit. And I'm going to repeat this step, but this time I'm going to select HSL. I just want to ramp up the saturation a little bit to bring out the colours in the eye. So let's see where we started from. A fairly standard stock image. And here comes our fantasy makeover, the brightness and contrast adjustments, and finally some saturation. All you need to do now is head up to File, scroll down to Export, and you can save the file in your chosen format, whether that be a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD. There we go. Have fun experimenting with images from your hard drive, and I'll see you next time.